بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم month of Rajab and Alhamdulillah I'm in the land of uh, Najaf al Ashraf next to the holy shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam and we would like to talk about conflict management yes how we can deal our anger how we can handle our emotions when sometimes it's just out of our control and I think this topic is so, so beautiful to discuss in this particular month because we all know that this is the only month. This is the only month. Yeah, we have Sha'ban, we have Ramadan, but only because of this month, because of the importance of this month, min butnan al arsh. Can you hear the call, the voice? What kind of voice? from where this voice is coming from throne of Allah Taala. angel is calling upon us that where are Rajabiyun where are Rajabiyun so Adi says on the day of judgment yeah whatever we do in this month whatever beautiful change we bring within ourselves especially in our relationships with others that all beautiful qualities will turn in a beautiful reward what hadith says hadith says on the day of judgment some people will show up when munadi the caller will call on the day of judgment even now angels are looking yeah for for seeking for for true rajabiyun so we, we inshallah inshallah with our practice we are saying we are here we are here so on that day of judgment when 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 angel will say Aina rajabiyun some people will show up with three beautiful qualities number one their faces are just bright and with so much light number two they would have a great crown on their head and number three one thousand angels on their left side and one thousand would be on their right side and the angels will say that you have to come with us with so much dignity and respect and you have to enter the jannah so that kind of izzat and respect is for 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 whom then allah tabaraka wa ta'ala would say because you have respected my month because rajab is the month of allah because i have given so much status to this month and you have respected this month with your deeds and amal so i'm rewarding you so what kind of respect one of the way of respect to show yeah to, to uh, we can say we, we can uh, expose it very easily is fasting literally this hadith says that because you have fast in this month and do you know fasting can truly manage your anger because fasting means what fasting means you are just controlling your desires yeah you are you are just telling that yeah my willpower is so strong i have that breaks in my day-to-day -day life and look at the beautiful hadith of imam baqir salam the way he says la quwwata karaddil ghadab there is no any power like the power of controlling and managing your anger you know that that makes you so much powerful and somehow you feel that freedom that Allah wa ta'ala has given to you so inshallah in this month of Raja literally number one we are going to fast to 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 what to inshallah manage our anger yeah I remember Ayatollah Marashi Najafi he would say uh, in my youth age, I used to fast Rajab, Sha'ban, and Ramadan three months in sequence. But now I'm old enough. I wish, I wish, I wish I could fast in this month. So, inshallah, we are going to fast. Number one, and 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 number two, the best amal in in this holy month of Rajab is seeking forgiveness. And even seeking forgiveness leads us towards 
anger management yeah conflict management why because istighfar truly means that you are just focusing about your mistakes and weak areas of your life you're just saying yeah here yeah this is the time this is the moment this is the situation where i sometimes lose my temper so now i have to work on these areas of my life these are my difficult zones so when you're working on those areas and you're seeking forgiveness you're just asking allah to to empower you and to strengthen you to come over your anger so then that is the true meaning of astaghfirullah rabbi wa atubu ilayh astaghfirullah rabbi wa atubu ilayh and uh, therefore it says that uh, for example um uh, because i'm very talkative for some i'm giving just an example so i have to work on my tongue yeah i'm 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 very like um, i love to eat foods yeah that is my 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 weak area and therefore maybe i couldn't get up for namaz asha because of heavy eating before going to bed or i i, I i'm just very weak about uh, a uh, fasting uh, uh, especially a recommended fast mustahab fast so so i can work on those areas in my life inshallah so so i i would love to give you a beautiful example of imam muhammad baqir alayhi salam because we have started this month with with beautiful gift of امام محمد باقر العلوم علیہ السلام سو دی حدیث این این دی بیوٹیفل سٹوری ٹیلز ویری نائسلی ٹو اس دیٹ ہاؤ وی کین کنٹرول اور اینگل ٹو اینڈ 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 دیر فور یو نو وین ایور آئی ایم 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 جس ریڈنگ آل دیز احادیث اینڈ اسٹوریز آئی جس پکچرائز وین ایور آئی سی باقر اٹس اے بیوٹیفل ڈیلائٹ فل فیس دیٹ ڈیلائٹ فل فیس ڈزنٹ مین دیٹ he is delightful when when someone gives smile to him no 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 even if someone is not giving good response to him still the face of imam al-baqir is full of cheerful and uh, uh, we can say delightful so the story says that once a christian man came uh, to visit imam with this intention that i'm going to insult him and i want to make him angry and therefore he said hmm o bakar you are bakar yeah bakar means cow in arabic language so you're cow you're a cow so imam Imam was feeling like somehow sorry for him. Imam smiled and Imam said with so much, so much love and, and gentle, gently he replied that, but uh, I'm a Baqir. I'm not Baqir. Baqir means the knowledge splitter, the one who's splitting the knowledge and sciences of prophets. Baqir al-Uloom min al-Avvaleen wal-Akhreen. And then he attacked again he said your mother is a cook your son of a cook so imam replied to him that yeah cooking is a beautiful job it's an art and then now he said i don't know how can i make him you know out of uh, his 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 control of temper so he said yeah your mom is black lady and you know she wasn't good in her manners and akhlaq wise and you know see, he said something very uh, unfortunately uh, opposite of good manners but imam lam yaghza now maybe imam is not smiling like before but he didn't lose his 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 temper he didn't uh, reply like in in anger what he said Ooh, wow you know such a powerful statement and i wish we could write it down in our Uh, common areas where sometimes we conflict we 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 we, we you know just lose our temper so imam said in kunta sadiqan if you are truthful whatever you are saying about my mother then may allah forgive her but if you are lying then may allah forgive you with so much you know calmness very gently 
Imam replied to him, and he got astonished and literally he couldn't control it. He said, I'm just announcing now. Everyone should know that Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. I'm just following the path of Muhammad Baqir, Baqir al-Ulum min al-Avvalina wal akhirin so it's so 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 important that how how uh, a person can get easily uh, empower himself by by connecting to Aima alayhi salam therefore we are we are celebrating their uh, happy occasions and birth occasions we are keep visiting their uh, holy shrines because automatically by connecting to them we can realize that why 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 we are so much in you know ego ego our ana is always there and we cannot make ourselves free so uh, i'm just praying that inshallah bihaqi amir al mu'minin alayhi salam and this is uh, atabay alawiya means uh, we are the guest of haram so alhamdulillah this is haram's beautiful hotel which is somehow inside the haram you know i'm inside the haram and and i'm praying um, on behalf of uh, and, and and definitely doing ziyarat of uh, you all inshallah thank you so much fi amanillah mm -hmm.